Right guys, so it's just before two o'clock. It's about quarter to two at the moment. Get this up. Oh, so what I do now is I water all the water all the chickens down. Oh, oh fuck, I can't carry that. Oh. So I water all the chickens down and then um, I'll go out and do all the, the goaty roaches. The goaties. Oh. So the turkeys are very quiet now, I've locked up that boy. That's pretty good. Alright, let me get all these watered. Oh, fuck, it's all. Some days are good, some days are bad. Today is not the good day. Right. Come on, let's go. Right, so it's two o'clock, it's hot as hell out there. So what I'll do is I'll take him up the back because it's lovely, lovely and cool up there. So I'll take him up there for half an hour. That way they can take it easy. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. So here they come. We'll take him up the back here. Make sure there's no snakes. I don't want to film. I don't want to be filming when I should be looking down. Come on, come on. Come on. You see, I've got to redo this, cement this look. Some are very hard, some are soft, fucked out. Don't worry. Come on, come on. So they follow me, when I call them like that, they'll follow me right the way up to, I go right up the back where the path roads are to where I want them to start their day off and then I'll just eat from there all the way back home. Come on, come on. Come on. That's an old cow call in Australia from the farmers when they're calling the cows in for milking. Come on, come on. Right, so the other day, I got the other day, mate, the other day, I got the sides trimmed all the way around the perimeter fence so that I can walk through without sneaky sneakies. Left this for the goats. So I said, it's very, look how cool it is in here. It's just about all shade. And the grass grows absolutely beautiful. You know, I remember Stu come and seen us and he said, he can't get grass growing underneath his um, hairy ball trees at all. You know, because it's in constant shade. And I said, well, this is in constant shade. And it's growing, mate. So give it a try. Give it a try. If you cut it down, it will grow. And as you can see here, how beautiful and cool this place is. Fuck, I love this back block. So I'd have my house up the back corner, up there. So I could utilise all this. Absolutely fucking lovely. Fucking lovely. All right, let them settle. An easy idiot. Practicing head butting. Okay. It's like we used to play knuckles when we were kids. You get to like it up here too because it's so cool. Durian trees are coming along very good. I'll show you up the back after on the durian trees. Well, if you remember that big mob of, ca of bamboo there is one two three here and that covered this whole area here no, no grass used to grow down through here at all and these trees took a pounding but now you actually can see that the durians growing coming out on that one and all the regrowth on these trees look absolutely regrowth coming up in this one here as well so they've come back quite well they've come back quite well indeed which is good but where we want to go, over this way, look for snakes, look for snakes. You're used to looking up all the time and you forget to look down. Uh, here, there used to be piles and piles of coconut husks before I cleaned this place up. And we were finding the skins from the snakes where they go into the coconuts to de-skin themselves down, shred their skin and we've measured them two metres long in here but have a look at this tree here, look at the durians on this look at that, look at them all absolute dick loads dick loads of them, there's so many so close together that they're falling down they are, they're not worried about it, just let nature do its course and uh, have a look at all those durians guys
This one's good, and the rabia tams are coming in flower as well. The hairy balls. So that's good. Bloody good. Love this back bolt. Uh huh. Get those ones. So here's the lovely chick chick come to say hello. Hello. She got the special spray. This is the spray that we use on wounds. It's this one here. And um, one of the goats has got, she's the one that's sitting down over here. She's got something on her tit. So she keeps sitting down so the flies don't get it. So we have to give that titty a bit of a spray. But we'll get that before we go out, outside in the other area. Come on, come on. Come on. Right, so we're going to bring him over here. I want to put some spray on one goat and then we'll take him way up the back over there. Well, it's very cool in here. I like to have the first half hour in there with him because it's very, very cool. Remember, guys, this land does have title as well and it's got heaps and heaps. We got 1,500 coconuts off at last harvest. So it's pretty darn good. Pretty darn good indeed. Right, let's get these girls going. Okay, so it's 2.40 now, so come on, come on, come on. Come on. Yeah, play that, play so what I'll do is now I'll take them way up the back area, over the back side. I wanted to go past, someone was burning off over here. Come on, come on, <laughs> come on. Someone was burning off their block. So um, I don't know how it's very green, so I don't know how they've done it, but it's a lot of black smoke. Come on, come on. Ah, oh, fuck me. Either after a bottle from Chick. Right, so these three stayed behind because their mama's little girls, they are. And it's like, where's me bottle? Where's me bottle? So Chick has to walk him out to me. And that's fucked me up because I wanted to go way up the back there with them. But now I have to stop for these. These have now detoured over here. Yeah, what's your mama? Well, it's funny when they all start running, they'll run from one end to the other straight up there and eat. And all you see is their ears flying. Well, there you go. Look all the ears flapping up and down. <laughs> Grass is long, guys. At least the is free, free wide. But um, I end up cutting it down to two, then I'll cut it down to one. We sent to developers and said, look, we can keep this down like this. And they just sent us a thumbs up emoji. And so they didn't get back to us. So we said, well, get fucked. So I don't do this back area anymore. I don't do along there. Just let all that grow now. That's it. Just let it grow. And all I do is the pathways along here so I can walk for the goats. That's not a hot fucking day. Serious. So all I do, guys, is just stand here in the heat. Me lovely shade hat on of the uh, big from Phil Billy and just stand here that's all I do just stand here just keep my eye on them and always looking down always looking down stand here for two hours in the Sun what a great job who wants to be my job well, all these bastards are still content in there so they have to go through different like they're eating all the um, grass, then I go forward and eat that other stuff. Then I'll come out of there and I just want to eat this shit over here. Then I'll go down and I just want to eat something else. So they sort of like have different courses. <coughs> the thunder up over the back over here, over this way, it's thunder. That's north over there. This is west, uh, east over here. This is east over here. This is where all our rain comes from. You see it building up over there. And if we get them clouds over the sun, I'll be fucking happy, I'll tell you. I'll be very happy. <sighs> it's the squatters area all through here. That's a piece of land they've cleared and uh, put a vegetable garden in. I don't know who owns it, but um, at least they're using it anyway. So that's good. Clean it all off. And it's full of onions. It's their goats down over here. Tied up. These bastards still there, not even moving. Bastards, bastards. Right, so the back block goes from over here where you can see the bridge is up over here. 
I don't have Zoom guys, sorry. And it goes across to that big ass tree, you see that great big bast hanging out, that's right in the corner paddock. So it goes from there all the way down to there. So you can see what it looks like. This used to all be rice paddocks before. Same as the front area was all rice paddocks. I'll see if I've got a photo I can stick at the end of this. That um, was Mama. And she's standing about where the corner of the um, the house and the driveway is now. And it was all rice paddocks behind her. So uh, we'll see if I can dig up that old photo she showed me the other day. Fucking hot. Well here comes a lovely chick chick with my water bottle. How good is that? Right, so Chick brings me out water after about an hour of me being here. I had me thermos of coffee. Let me do a trade. I'll swap you yours, you swap me mine. They got here, they haven't moved from there. Ah. They haven't moved. It's been all this time here. So what's there? Fuck do I know. But they haven't moved from that. There, they haven't moved. Yeah, and like it's a patch or like... Yeah. Weird shit. Thank you Chick! So the babies heard her talking to me so they start to come out so she's had to bugger off because they know it's milk time they can stay there all right finally they're coming out so now they're going to go for another course i'll head down the bottom there so there's still a lot of thunder up over the back there over through there so this this is the squatters area they live all along here so there's a creek that runs down through here same as like on our property and just the other side of where those goats are is where the creek is and between there and the rice field that's a government roadway on the maps if you look at the landmarks so that's why the squatters are all along here because it's government land not at anyone's private land but uh, they actually live in there and there 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 and there's two three more down in there as well all right i'll go back with these bastards now do a head count make sure i've got all the babies look at all the ears you see flapping now look funny as fuck when they're running Right, change of diet. They've come down from the top, and now they're into here. So they've got to run down one straight hit. Look, no eating along the way. Your mother's in front of you. I've done a head count. There's eight of you. This one's lost. Your mother's in front of you, stupid. I'll have a look how tall it is through here, guys. Oh, shit. It's over six foot tall. My God. There was some burning going on here before. I'm trying to see what the hell it was. I don't see anything. Keep it black, 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 black smoke. Black smoke just means like rubber, fuels, stuff like that. These people here put in a veggie garden. So um, we come and seen them. I think it was about last week when they were here, they normally come out on a Saturday. So we've seen them and they've got a couple of um, coconut trees there that the digger had pulled out from here and dropped onto their property. Which you can see down down over there, there they are. So I said, Chick, go out and see them and tell them if they want, we can come out with a chainsaw one Saturday. And um, we can cut that up into logs and they can take it away so they can have their block cleared. And they said, oh, but how much will that cost us? Chick said, no, no money. <laughs> oh, so they've been. What the fuck they burned down in here? Probably a dead body. Fuck my dog. Right, get back to me goats. So the goats always eat together. They always stick together in the same group when they eat. And that's why we thought it was strange when um, they were doing the roads through here and the workers were here and we lost Nanny. And we found it two farms over down a well. And it's like, wow, the fuck. And you know, all the time since then, I've been out herding with them and they've never once gone across that area. Never once even gone near that corner. Not once. So it makes you fucking wonder, doesn't it? it makes you wonder. Because they always eat together, shoulder to shoulder, just like this. See all the, um, if you can see on the camera, all the dragonflies. And it was strange because Saturday I said to Chick, there's not one dragonfly up in the air today. Yet normally it's full of it like it is now. So I don't know what happened to him that day. But still looking ugly as my ex-wife over there, mate. Fuck, she was ugly too, I tell you. Fuck, she was ugly. That sky is looking ugly too. Well, guys, I think she's going to rain tonight for sure. So here's a lovely Chick Chick with their bottles. 
you feed four at a time. Four of them at a time, she'll feed. Uh, oh, I can't get up. <laughs> Settle petals. <laughs> Bells between the legs everywhere, look. He's uh, afraid to put his head and uh, bleed his horn. Oh, yeah. It gives him headache. Yeah, so he's sticking his head out. Yeah. He's had his horns done. And he's had a, um, he stuck his head through the wire before and he took the, the uh, capping off, the scab capping off. And so uh, we had to keep spraying him again with that special magic spray. So now he won't stick his head through yeah. at all. The yeah. others are just eating here. Now they're going to eat here now until um, just after four. The head through trying to get him out of the bag. <laughs> right, so how do you tell if the goats are full? Okay, now when you first bring them out, if you have a look at you put on their back leg, like in this area here, okay, see if they're fattened out? Their bellies are actually will sink in and you can actually put your hand along their backbone. But uh, when they've been eating for a few hours, they actually fill out. Like this one here, see she needs more tucker in her yet. See she hasn't filled out that last little bit above her legs. This one's here filled out okay. This one she'll need a little bit more yet. But uh, when they first take them out, all that sunken in. I mean between the, where their leg joins their belly, that's all sunken in. So um, when you see them fully, oh shit, what are you doing, it's a shit day or what? So when you see goats that are well sunken inwards, now see if you see any of these on the young'uns. Okay, mm -hmm. this one here's got a beautiful coat on it, so fluffy in it, so fluffy this one, so fluffy, but uh, like I said, you see, see now they're all, their bellies are filled out, so when their belly is filled out, it goes right back to their back leg, but when you first put them out, they're really sunken in, and uh, it looks like they're holding their guts in, really thin, but uh, if they eat continuously now, like for two hours, continuously eaten, they fill up, they fill up. Like this one here, see? See this one? See how, it's, see how it's sunken in this area here? See there? That area there. So when they eat a lot, that will actually be all one level all the way across. All fat bastards. Fat bastards. So they just eat and eat and eat. When they're finished eating, they've had enough, then they'll come home. They'll walk to the gate and say, let me in, bitch. All right, guys, that's us for the day. We're just going to let the goats chill out here. We get the chance to sit down, refresh with some water, take it easy. The little ones will come over for a little pat. Thanks for watching us today, guys, on the farm. Remember, share, subscribe, like. If not, buy the bastards. Why not? That seems to be the G.O. So have a great day, guys. Thanks for watching. See you later, babe. Where's the milk? <laughs> Your brother finished it, baby. Well, we decided Hi, they've, they've had enough now. They've had enough. We're all gonna go home. There they go. Come on, little ones. Let's go. See you later, guys. Thanks for watching.